So what ages work well together when you're teaching children's yoga? That's what I'm talking about today as it's something that I'm asked a lot on my children's yoga teacher trainings. Before we jump into it, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, then please do so below, just tick the subscribe box. So if you are a skilled and prepared teacher, you should be able to teach any age group, any mixed age group, whether you've got four-year-olds and 15-year-olds in there, but what is the ideal scenario? I prefer it when the children's age groups are as close together as possible. So if you're working in school classrooms, that's really easy because you'll walk into a classroom and you know that all the children in there are born within a 12 month period usually. So you will have four and five year olds in there or you'll have 10 and 11 year olds in there, but you won't get these huge gaps between the age groups. However, if you're doing extracurricular activities, uh, community teaching, or working in yoga studios, or working in family yoga, you could have really big age groups, unless you decide what age group you are going to gear your kids yoga class at. So if I'm working with yoga studios or I'm working with schools to do extracurricular activities, then I would suggest that we do the uh, early years children who are five years and under. If I can get it even smaller, then I would say two and three year olds and four and five year olds. There is a huge difference between teaching toddler yoga and teaching four year olds yoga. Just what they can do physically, their language, uh, their brain development, their communication skills, it is so completely different from two to four. And so, especially with those early years, children trying to get that age gap as close as possible is going to be more beneficial for the children and for you as a teacher. Um, then you can start to group your children, you know, four to six year olds is great. You know, the four year olds and six year olds work really well together. A lot of the postures that you do, the games, the storytelling, the music, all of that is really appropriate to the four to six year olds. Then working with seven year olds, I would say seven to nine or maybe seven to 10 year olds work really well together. Again, the brain development, their behavior, the way in which you speak with them, their communication skills are of course still developing, but it's very similar um, kind of activities and the way in which you would speak with them and guide the yoga class is going to be similar if you're teaching seven-year-olds um, and if you're teaching nine and 10-year-olds. Then you can go up into the tweens. So that's just before they get into those teenage years. So that's typically, I'd say 11 and 12. Maybe you can stretch it 10 to 13-year-olds. But again, there is a big difference between a 10 year old and a 13 year old in what they're experiencing, what their bodies, how their bodies are developing, how their brain is developing, and just their general day to day challenges can be very different. So uh, 11 to 13 works really well. And then the teenagers, so then doing the 14 to 16 or maybe even doing 15 to 17. What you really need to consider is basically what are they able to do pose wise so physically what are they able to do what are they working on what's safe and appropriate for them uh, communication behavior what you can expect from them how you guide it how you communicate with them um, games or activities that you do you know what's what works well for one age group really doesn't work well at all it's completely inappropriate for another age group. And then of course, what challenges are they facing on a day-to-day -day basis? The challenge that a three-year-old is facing, such as separation anxiety from a parent, uh, general frustrations, uh, overwhelm of emotions, is gonna be really different to the day-to-day -day challenges that a 10-year-old faces, such as um, difficulties with their social skills or peers. Um, anxiety over schoolwork or starting a new school term. So thinking about the challenges that they're experiencing at their age is going to help you to decide, is this age group appropriate to teach with this age group? 
Now, obviously, if you're teaching family yoga, you're going to have mixed levels. If you're teaching summer camps, uh, festivals, large scale events, whole school events, you are going to have mixed age groups. Uh, look out for my video on how to teach mixed age groups so that you know how to teach when you're doing a, four, a class that's full of four-year-olds and at the same time you've got 12 and 14-year-olds, uh, what are you going to do? So watch out for that video. But those are my suggestions to how to best and most effectively be able to teach um, those age groups, so how to group them together keeping it the age gap as short or as small as you possibly can and thinking to yourself, what kind of challenges does this age group have? Um, what kind of communication skills, behavior, social skills and physical development wise, um, what are they able to do? And if it seems like they can, that is similar, if you think, you know, okay, they're five years old, they can do similar activities to a seven year old, Great, put them in a class. But uh, I would say keep it as short of an age gap as possible. All right, if you love this and you will love all of my other videos, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a little like if, if this was useful. And of course, leave me a comment below and let me know what is your favorite age group to teach.